The field of MS is exciting. We've gone from having zero disease-modifying therapies in 1992 to our first medication in 1993 to now having 17 separate products. It's amazing the leap forward. We now have 14 branded products. We have two unbranded generics and one branded generic. That's amazing leap forward. That's faster than anything in neurology and frankly faster than most things in medicine. That means that we're always looking at the results of new studies that are coming out. Every year for the next several years we're going to see one to two new medications coming out. We've recently had two approvals by the Food and Drug Administration and we'll probably see within the next 12 months we'll probably see a few more approvals. One of them may be in a medication that simply the same medication, but just less side effects for one of our common disease-modifying therapies that people take orally twice a day. Another medication is in a class of medications called S1P, or sphingosine 1-phosphate receptor modulators, and it's going to be coming out probably within the next 12 to 14 months. Then we're going to see other medications that are follow-up medications to other medicines we have, such as B-cell depleting medications. We're not going to see another medication that is disease-modifying therapy that is from a different class for at least the next year and a half. And that first one might be a BTK inhibitor or Bruton tyrosine kinase inhibitor. And that medication will be an oral medicine we may or may not see these come to the market. There's a little bit of a race going on to see who comes out first, and this will be yet another way of treating multiple sclerosis. The real hope in MS, though, is not just on relapsing forms of MS. It's really looking at primary progressive forms of multiple sclerosis, as well as at ways of repairing the damage that's already happened in multiple sclerosis.